Can I ask you a professional question? Sure. So, you know, Bobby Kennedy was on Bill Maher when I was on, right? Yeah. And I got to know him. By the way, incredibly likable guy. Um, Obviously. And impressive in person. He is it's really, And not like that. To be fair, he's been great on the environment. He's been a leader like around great. the environment and some issues. Anyways, um, I got to know him, texted me and said, uh, and his head of comm said, we'd really like to come on the Prop G pod. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so I met with the team and I said, Bobby wants, Bobby Kennedy wants to come on the Prop G pod. Uh, what do mm -hmm. you think? What would you do? Me? Not have him on. Not have him on. Why? Maybe. Um, Maybe. Um, yeah. See, it's not, it's not a slam dunk, is it? It took me a while I, to think about it. I have to say, not because of like, listen, I've interviewed lots of, you know, I had the parlor guy, if you remember right after the, the thing, I didn't agree with most everything he said. And he, of course, ended up getting fired from that interview. Um, I don't mean to say you're not qualified to take this guy on, but I think you will get That wasn't the, the answer I was looking for, Kara. Well, I, I think I, I wouldn't be qualified, I don't think. I think I think he's oh, a tough Oh, yeah, person. right. I, uh, I don't you're think not qualified to bring this guy on. Thing. You need okay. a lot of prep on this one, a lot of prep, and you need to counter him because he's a professional. He's He lies almost constantly and misrepresents things huh. he said. And Got so... It. Get, even getting him spewing stuff is a problem. Like he, you just catching his many, many misconceptions of everything, and and countering. But that unless you're an very, epidemiologist, you're not going to be able to do that, which is a, a, right, essentially exactly. why so we that, decided not well, to. Well, some reporters are more qualified than others to do that and stuff. That's if you. That's just on certain things. He like spouts off all kinds of conspiracy theories, you know, the, and the, doing the some people said. So I think it's a very difficult interview. And he's charismatic, which is mm -hmm. hard to deal with when someone seems reasonable and then throws in a lie here and there and think that's difficult. This is why I would I would have a very difficult time with this fella. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, a couple I, days I, to figure it out. I, this is not an insult to you, but you give people a lot of you 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 try to come to comedy with people, and you're uncomfortable in comedy or comedy. Comedy. Yeah. Com that's right. com don't start yeah. doing joking around with Jar. Okay, that's like. No, I, I, I was I didn't know what you were. I didn't yeah, know. I didn't know. What I think you yeah, are. Agreed. You try to see the best side of people. That's right. And I think this is a very cynical, disturbed person. So, yep. I I think you are too nice. You're too you are wanting to come to some. Can't we all get along? And in some cases, no, we just can't. You're, you're no, my right. interviewing style. I believe in what Sam Harris said that you want to present yep. people in their best light, and that just might not right. be the right approach to this. Right. I don't know. What does your staff think? Oh, is universal no. Yeah. Uh, the, the general view was realistically he doesn't have a path to presidency. Yeah. So if Donald Trump called and said we want to be on your podcast, I'd have him on, and I would do my best to be prepared. Um, right. In that case, I'd say yes. But they said he really doesn't have a path. All he's going to do is potentially be a spoiler. And the general sense was that he has been, while well, he's been very good on certain topics, that he's been so reckless. What I told him, I texted him back, and I don't think he'd mind this one. Maybe he would, but I'm going to say it anyways. I said the general view is that you've been. Uh, so reckless on the issue of vaccines that we don't want to platform those ideas for fear that they'll get the resonance they really legitimately don't deserve. He gets one in. He always get liars always li persistent liars always get one in, um, and you have to really counter them. I think I did a good job in that parlor interview where he started saying many people say, and I said nobody says that. And here's the nobody who says it. You show me, you know you have to be real tough and vicious almost. And I think you're not. I, I think it's a quality I like about you. You're not capable of it. I don't think you're. Capable you just feel of bad because you said I wasn't worthy. I wasn't up to it. Now you're trying to backtrack. I, I don't think many people are up to it. I don't think many interviews do a good job with him. Honestly.